The AFU attacked Smolensk region with strike drones. Two drones were intercepted by electronic warfare and air defense over Smolensk. Three more were destroyed in Zadnoprovsky district. The AFU have struck settlements in Bryansk region at least twice. Pogar, Gorazhanka, and Trubchevsk were attacked, where the Bryansk Energo building was hit. One person was wounded. Also, the AFU attempted a kamikaze drone strike on Krasnodar region. The enemy's drone was shot down by small arms over the territory of the airport in Sochi. Meanwhile, the AFU are pulling reserves to the borders of Bryansk and Belgorod regions. Collaborators from the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps arrived at the border in Sumy region. Russian troops continue to launch combined strikes against military facilities on the territory of Ukraine. Zavod MVO Malasheva was hit in Kharkiv, where the main repair shops for AFU's armored vehicles were finally disabled. At the same time, Russian Duran drones hit targets in Cherkasy region. In Uman, an UAV struck warehouses used for the needs of Ukrainian troops. During a massive Russian loitering munitions raid, an object in Kherson region was hit. In Snihirivka, a logistics hub used by the AFU for military purposes came under attack. In the Zaporizhia direction, the AFU increased activity in Vasilivka and Polohi sectors. The enemy took up positions near Bilohirya, but Russian artillery quickly struck it. In Kherson direction, AFU's tactical groups continue to gain a foothold on the islands on Dnipro River. At the same time, Russian troops conducted a successful sortie on Kozatsky Island, capturing several members of Ukrainian units.